Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith, this is Mr. Lack with the Strat Time Report, and let's take a look. So, SPY uh, gaps up a little bit, and now back to doji land, so did give it up here off the opening here, if you go to 60, 2-2 two, two reversal, and then now, slight 2 here, but now we got a new 60, still holding the gap, however, and as we get into the, closer to the end of the week, I always want to see, you know, how we're going to finish off here. So, at, at this point, we're closer to continuing the 2 up on the week. Right, we took this high out, and now we're shooting for this guy here. 429.66, got some distance on that. But, as I was saying yesterday, now you got a lot more of these uh, 212 inside months to the upside holding, right? And so we do back off a little profit take. Now we'll see if we can get that 22 back up here. Two down, two up over 422.43 here uh, in the next hour. Go to QQQ was a little rougher and got back into the gap here but now once again hammer on the 60 here was your two up two down 60 to start the day all right the reverse to go fill the gap two up two down reversal now we'll see if they reverse try and reverse them back up here over 326.97 here in the next hour and watching that weekly still closer to taking out that weekly high as we come in closer to the end of the week and still looking to take this thing out here 330.29. Did we do that? Yep, we did it. So <laughs> you got your higher high and your lower low, and that's your exhaustion risk. And you can see the broadening formation here, the lower low and the higher high. So we'll see if that uh, firms up. Go to the Dow Jones Diamonds. Diamonds a little firmer here, and you can see an inside 60 in the diamonds. Holds the inside bar. Still not much of a range on these days, but uh, you know, still holding that inside month to the upside and closer to the highs of the week so we'll see in this inside bar it goes 212 back up the next hour over 335.48 go to small cappers here and the 32 down and now you can see if it goes 322 I'll back up but doji on the day a lot of these future ranges have been brutal on the, during the day but uh, we'll see if we can get back over 197 66. I always post that gap list in the morning. Had some nice ones this morning. So we had Disney up there. And Disney now looks like inside on the 60. Yep, inside on the 60. But if you go to the 30, you'll see this. Start the day. The two up, the inside, and the 212, and back down she goes. Uh, so that was a pretty nice little reversal there for Disney. Uh, if we go to APP. See this, two down, two up, tries to go 2-2, two, two, reversal up, but if you just stop out here, then you reverse and get short right here. Two up, two down here below, 38.89, and down to 36 right now, that's a nice little trade. If you go to Bumble, and Bumble on the 30, the three, one, two, boom. And when you take this out, you're looking magnitude is all the way down to here, and still going right now, starting to firm up a little bit, but that was a nice short below 3373 uh, and got down to 3116. Not bad. Uh, if we go to Star Surgical, Star Surgical trying to hold up here. Let's get them 60s and gaps up, comes in, but then goes Momo Hammer 60. Anybody who thought this thing was going to fill the gap, it didn't. Boom, then you pop it to them right there. Now you got an inside 60. We'll see. Nice week on that, so we'll see how that's going. Uh, if there's any sector that's holding up much better as we energy. Uh, here's your crude going to the highs. And so having a nice push there off the 2-2. Two, two. two up, two down, and then boom. These two become an outside bar of that. XLE. Still holding near the highs, OIH. Here, and uh, it looks like that's inside on the 60. Yep, inside on the 60 right now, OIH. And still, you know, we really wanted to get this month going because remember on OIH, a bunch of these energies have the outside month, the two down. Really want to take this out, that 240, 266, and get these things cruising because you go back to XLE. Here, really want to get that 322 month going, and that's going to be above 7866. Getting a little closer right now. Uh, you've got uh, Conoco here doing that on the 322 on the month, taking that out. So Conoco's still drifting higher up into here. Had a nice inside 30 right there to get in. If you go to PXD, 
a nice 30 here and a nice 30 there and still need some room though to take out that month 237.56 so we'll see um, if we go to Allstate and Allstate let me see here something okay if we go to Allstate Allstate's got the rev strat week working here inside poke down one two two boom and off she goes and so all states still sticking near the highs even though uh the market tried to give it up a bit here so if we go to right aid and right aid now stuck up in here but see the nice long green bar here having a nice week now nah, inside in the 60 just pokes a little bit above but we'll see if the next hour over 1131 uh, if we go to ABSI now backing off a little guy had a nice little move there the 312 off the 60 here about 540 and jumped all the way up to 704 so uh, we'll see if that sets up again now you're stuck in this mother bar so we'll be careful with that if we go to ASTS ASTS now inside on the 60 having a nice little week and a nice little inside month and upper and back through the previous range so we'll see if that can set up and keep going if you go to ENVX ENVX nice little 212 off the 60 back up to these highs two down two up on the month and just having a nice long green uh, weaker so we'll see if there's anything more comes of that uh, so on the downside you know we had a you know with that big jump on the opening uh, a lot of things uh, you know came, came off pretty hard not sure how much more we get out of them but one of the things we look for is this for one rev strat day w day and two up two down after the inside bar so right now that's a 2-2 reversal on the day still green on the week so there's a lot of conflict on these things but uh, if you go to like service now trades like w day one of the things we can look for if we do continue to weaken is things are going to be outside day. So right now you've got a good chance of this thing being an outside day and going three should the market weaken. However, it's firming up right now on the flip. If we go to net. And net, we know it's a 212 on the month, just potentially some profit taking. And that's why we call it exhaustion risk when you go into recent highs. You know, everybody who wants to be long might be long and so come in closer to the weekend profit taking potential on outside day here in net if we go to the team the team another rev strat one two two here and see how that sets up shooter for the week we prefer this to the upside just because of the month but uh, we'll see potentially inside 60 we'll see how that goes if we go to coop And Coop, just another 2-2 two -two reversal day and changing that, that week back red. We'd prefer this monthly to get going here, the 2-1-2 two, two up. Uh, but for right now, it just comes in back to the gap. And these two are becoming outside bar of that. So we'll see if that's done its job or it's going to do some more. Go to Hubs. And Hubs, another potential outside day. Like a lot of these things, it's just... You know, basic profit taking. It's not like these things are all getting killed, but uh, you know, we just want to be aware of you know potential outside bars. If we go to ENPH, and just another potential outside day if they want to bring it in, and nice outside sixty to start the day. So we'll see if that sets up again and what they want to do here. Uh, if we go to MQ. And MQ, having a rough one. I think this is higher, higher, right? Yep, by two cents, a potential three, three week if they want to clock this thing. Uh, not doing much on the month, but had a rough morning, so we'll see if that sets up again at all. If we go to Sono. Sono. Just gap down and holds that gap down. Trying to go inside 60 down. Still stuck in this thing, but uh, you got your outside month, and certainly uh, 
this outside bar is outside of all of this, so it's slight exhaustion risk down here, but certainly uh, having a rough morning. If we go to ALVR. And the nice 2-2 reversal day. I'm not sure how much more we have on this thing, but uh, you know, certainly had a rough morning, so, so we'll see. Uh, you know, like yesterday, uh, the market really dried up in the afternoon. And so right now, because you have a little bit of conflict with the energies firm and, the, uh, you know, a lot of these guys coming way off their highs, uh, it wouldn't surprise me to sit here and rot for a while and then uh, closer to position scoring time, maybe end of the day. Uh, but we'll see how all of that goes as we come towards the end of the week. All right, XLE goes to the highs. Here, still going into the highs, so you can keep an eye on all those energies. Uh, like I said, things might dry up here a bit, but we'll see either side of these 60s always gets my attention on uh, the broader averages. All right, that's going to do it for today. I'm Rob Smith, Smith Black, Strat Time Report.